Hello frugal friends, welcome to my channel. It's a thrifting thing. I'm so glad you joined me. I am Frugal Joy Joe, and uh, here's a thrifting haul for you. A thrifting share of some things that I've hauled and thrifted and treasure hunted in the past. Now if you watched my last video, you remember this witch that I thrifted at the Goodwill. And I told you that I had some other cute little faces that I had thrifted in an estate sale about a week earlier. And they're all just faces. You can put fairy lamps in them or uh, electric lights, bulbs, which that is what I've done. Look at how cute. What is this, a scarecrow? We have a ghost and we have the witch. So I shared that with you today. These, these I paid, well, it was at that estate sale. She told me to fill a garbage bag uh, for $5. I brought a brown paper bag from the grocery store. So if you wanna go uh, somewhere, they're, they're saying, hey, fill a bag, a grocery bag, bring a brown paper bag because they're a little bit larger than those plastic bags. And so I had filled that up in there. And she also gave me these three crates full of crafting and um, how to paint books and how to make, you know, yard art, all vintage. I was looking through them. She said, hey, I'll give you all three of those crates for $5. Took all three of those crates for $5. I filled up a brown paper bag a few things, grabbed a box of ornaments about like this high, you know, this yay big. And I just said, hey, seven bucks, gave her seven bucks. All right, so there it is. I'll share some of the other thrifted uh, things from that estate sale as well. But here you go. I think I'm gonna put these cute little uh, Halloween light faces together or keep them for my own decoration. I don't know, but they're cute. Now I'm going to turn the light on because we can't sit here in the dark for this whole thrift haul. Excuse me for a minute. Okay. There we go. And I still have the lights on. I won't just leave them there for fun. These are cute. All right. So let's get into the haul, y'all. All right. So this was one of the little other things that I got from that estate sale that I put in that brown paper bag. Like a kitty cat with pumpkin. My little chat. That's cute. Cute to add for Halloween decorations. Display, so we'll put him there on the side. Oh my goodness, yeah. I know you know what I'm talking about when I talk about uh, a flower frog. Yeah, all know what I'm talking about, right? I found one. How about that? That's the fun part of thrifting, right? It's a thrifting thing. You go out, you look, and you find those those things, and you get a bargain because guess what? I paid one dollar. Oh, the tag came off. Where did it go? Nope, it's right there. It's right there. One dollar. It's a small glass uh, flower frog, but hey, I got one and I'm happy. That's mine. Okay, from that bag of that estate sale, I also grabbed this bag of vintage that how to cook um, recipes cards I'm going to take a little closer look at them see if I can find a date a year what is this first of all this is a pattern no, some type of pattern here I'll set that aside because I don't sew but this is all the cards and we have hot potatoes, fettuccine pie on the back. And these are, I don't know if there's a date, 
but I'm gonna look as we're together. My great recipe packet. Anyway, that's all I got. Also, in that bag that I paid a dollar for, a bag full of this stuff. You know, we can use these in packages or um, people like to do it, to use them in um, journaling or crafting. So that's fun. It is fun fun. I love it. My daughter says, you know what? Give me a recipe. Get me the food and I'll make it. She was just asking me about these type of recipes about a week or so ago. So guess what? Here you go, my sweet Emily. You're going to make some food. Okay. In that bag came a light. I guess it was to go with the witch. So that's that. Okay. And I picked up this bag of turkey napkin holders. I don't think they're real brass. I think they're sort of a ceramic or a metal. Uh, need to look like brass, bla, um, brass. I don't know, but I have four of them. I'm gonna move you back, buddy. And we'll set them right here. So you can see them. I think they're great. For the fall, Thanksgiving, napkin rings. There you go. Cute little turkeys, right? How about that? I'll leave that there. Okay, then I picked up these. Take the stickers off of them. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Mushrooms. This estate sale was from. I don't know, probably 1940s, 1950s home. You know, the family was getting rid of mom's stuff and mom had a lot. And she had these two. I took them, I know that there's a little chip on this mushroom here, but I think hanging or using them some way in decoration, you really can't see that little chip right there. What is this? 19, early 70s, it screams. I think it does to me. Okay. Now, this. What I'm going to do with these, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's move these around so I can share some other items with you these out. These look like, what, Delph, Dutch, Little Girls, Salt and Pepper Shakers. So we have two of them that actually say Salt and Pepper. That's a salt and that's a pepper. And then these have a word of kennel or Hydra, you know, these might be German words. They're cute. This one has the stopper. This one has the stopper. Unfortunately, pepper does not, but the salt does. What am I gonna do with them? I'm certainly gonna put them together. Okay. Okay, so that's from that estate sale. And I'm gonna share with you there's three crates of craft books. Another haul video. Of course, I had to pick up this cookbook when they're on sale. Some of these thrift stores will put them on sale, you know, 10 cents, a dollar. I think at the Goodwill, most of the time they have them priced for 2050 cents. So if I can find them for a dollar at another thrift store or, or 50 cents even cheaper, then I picked them up because this is like grandma's used to make, like grandma used to make, guys. A treasury of fondly remembered dishes. This is from Reader's Digest. Let's look at the year.
Okay. Where is the year? Copyright 1996. Great recipes in here for my daughter to make too, as well, right? Put that right there. Another cookbook. There was a sale, I must have grabbed them. The New Basics. Julie Russo, Rosso and Sheila Lukens, authors of Silver pa Pilates Cookbooks, the Silver Pilates Good Times Cookbook. So the new basics, y'all. This is a big cookbook, lots of recipes, and it is probably new. books I told you and if I haven't I collect golden books they're so cute they were read to me my mom read them to me when I was a child and I just like uh, the stories and the, and the way that they're formatted and the illustrations and the golden books so I got Dumbo I got Cars Cars is you know a newer um, movie that came out but hey I picked it up uh, it one day will be vintage, won't it? And there you have a Dumbo. Oh, I got this photo album because I have so many pictures. I actually keep my pictures in old suitcases, you know, you stack those old suitcases up and I have all my old pictures when we used to take pictures and print them out from cameras. Mm -hmm. That's what I have. But you know, some of the new pictures on my camera that I'd like to print out collections of, uh, you know, my son's soccer pictures or my daughter's dancing pictures, my older daughter's graduation pictures, things like that. I'd like to put maybe in one little book, easy to look at all together for one dollar. Okay. So I was at this, uh, this is a Pyrex bowl. I'm not sure if the pattern, let's see if I can read the back. It says Pyrex for oven and microwave, no stove top or broiler made in Corning in USA, Corning, New York. USA. So this is made in USA. It's in good condition and I too pick up the Pyrex when I see them because I do like to collect the random pieces and when I asked the guy at this thrift store that I often thrift at just picked it up said hey he said 50 cents I said I'll take it. sounded like it broke, but it didn't. Okay. <sighs> These porcelain little figurines. I just love them. They seem to be not in style now for collecting, but I think they're so cute. Look at her. She is Melanie and Scarlett O'Hara. So, hey. Um... Jan, who? Jan Higuera, limited edition. Distributed by Royal New Orleans, 1982. And this one's 1985. And she is over here, Victoria. It just says Victoria. Cute little porcelain girls. So I picked them up. They were, I don't know what it says. Can't read it. I hope I didn't pay too much for them. And then I got this little guy. It's in Floyd for 59 cents. Holiday Hamlet. 
doll maker. Fits into like a little tiny doll maker. Look at that. Little elf. What does he have in his hand? He has the dress for the doll. He's a doll maker and he fits in Freud. So I picked him up. I picked up this plate. I love the colors and flowers, floral plates. This one says Royal Canada made in Japan. Does it say Royal Canada? Oh, I just cut it off. Royal Crown. Royal Crown. 59 cents made in Canada. So I picked it up. I like to get use them for trinkets and whatnots. Put my keys in. Put my jewelry in or makeup in, whatnots in. Do you do the same? Do you pick up the random plates and random bowls? Because they're so beautiful and they're vintage. I do. I mean, there's somebody else that does and somebody that loves it. Okay. This plate, Omnibus by Fitz and Floyd. Another one. Look at the colors. Look at the beautiful fruit, florals and stuff on that, the fruit. It says Fitz and Floyd, 1997. And I also have the very large platter in the same pattern. So I don't know, something I might put together. Look, it also has the hanger so you can hang this. Love it. Okay, I picked up a sheet. This is, oh my goodness, this is the old league, guys. The old superhero league. What do they call them? The League of Justice League? The Justice League? Oh my goodness. I have, can you see this? I'm going to turn it around this way. I have you know, Superman. Oh, for goodness sake. What else do we have? Wendy and Martin. I don't know who that is. There's Batman. There's this guy right here. Green Lantern. We have Robin. Y'all, did I show you Wonder Woman? <laughs> Wonder Woman. Oh my goodness, we have Wonder Woman on there. <sighs> Who is this guy? So it's DC Comics. I'm gonna put it in front of these guys. DC Comics. There you go. What is that? 1977. Oh, look at the dog. 1977. It's just a flat sheet, probably twin size, but somebody will want that. Then I picked up this. It's kind of a denim purse. It's a pretty full bowl in. Cute inside. Look at that. I paid a dollar for it. Picks it up. It does have. does have a, a brand on it. It says New Life Creations. New Life Creations. And a little hand, a little uh, to close it up and put it around the button so that you can have it closed. Cute little purse. Vintage. Old looking. Denim. 70s. Okay, guys, 20 minutes. Well, look 
get it done. Picked up this Disney carafe. It has the lid. I paid a dollar fifty for it. Let me see it. It has Minnie, Donald Duck, and Mickey Mouse. I thought that was cute. Anybody who loves collecting Disney, I think everybody does, don't they? <laughs> Any Disney item is a item to pick up. Okay, well there you go. That's all I have to pick up. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Okay. This is some chalkware. Oh, look. Look at that. Bell pepper, some mushrooms. Oh, holding it upside down. Yep. Carrot, some pea pods. I paid 50 cents. It does have the hanger on the back, still in great condition. Let's put them up here on in front of snow. And then I have the fruit, grapes, the pear, the apple, and the watermelon open. Also has good hangers on the back. I paid 50 cents. And there you go, vintage. Yeah. And the mushrooms you have. Mm -hmm. Look at those mushrooms. Okay, guys, I'm so excited that you joined me. I hope you enjoyed all the thrifted treasures that I shared with you today. And I will continue to go thrifting because it's a thrift thing, and I will share my thrifting with you. Remember to su subscribe so that when you want to look back and find me, you'll, know, you'll have me in your subscription, and you'll be able to find me, and I'll be putting out videos. And I hope to see you again, frugal friends. Until then, happy thrifting. Bye.